Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx and welcome back to Echoes of the Eye and I have a bone to pick with quite a few of you. If you've been in the community discord you're gonna know exactly where this is going because we've only just been talking about this literally about half an hour before we recorded this. I am horrified at how tall you think I am. Now, for everyone who's not in the Discord, you're all going to be going, what? Um, someone asked the, the random question of how tall in everyone's headcanon do you think Sturx is? I think they're this tall. I think they're this tall. And it turned into like an hour long conversation. And no one got it right. No one got it right. So I'm interested. Let me know. This is our conversation for the day. This is our comment topic for the day. How tall am I in your head? And I will never disclose the actual correct answer. Not unless there's ever like a convention and I meet a bunch of people, then I can't really hide it anymore. But till that point, it's going to be my little secret. Today, um, unfortunately, I'm going to the sleeping world. There's not really any other way of dealing with this. The only way we're going to progress now is to go there and is to learn the secrets and to progress. That's a lie! That's a complete and utter lie! Oh my god, I'm so stupid! No, we need to find the burning room! We need to find the burning room in the first place. In that first village. How am I so I completely forgot! That's what we need to do! We need to do that and then I can go to the sleeping world. It's been a long week, it's been really hot. I don't have heat stroke, I don't know what you're talking about. Let's get into this. I am such an idiot on occasion. Yes, yeah, so we found the room, didn't we? Uh, so we took the elevator to that room that had all the places, um, all the burning room locations, and I actually rewatched the episode where I was looking for that first place, right? I was looking for that in the video and upon reflection it is so obvious where I'm meant to be looking and it makes me so sad also why haven't I, there's a bunch of things I'm seeing on here that we haven't read so I owe you guys when we get back to doing the base game I owe you a look through all that there's a stuff to do with the quantum moon and such that apparently I haven't read so that's okay in the meantime we do have things to read map projection one a projection that seems to reveal a secret location somewhere within the stranger. Now, it's telling me that I can mark that. I don't want to mark it. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. We've got location three, which goes through the slide burning room at the Hidden Gorge. We've also got... That one. A map I found in the abandoned temple reveals a secret location somewhere within... The Stranger, that's in the River Lowlands, that's where we're going to go today. And then we've also got the Symbol Room, a secret room filled with three wooden containers marked with different symbols. Three of the containers are marked with glowing vault seals, but their contents have been burned away. I opened the container marked with a symbol of a burning slide wheel and found a vertical sequence of symbols inside. And we took that to a place. A place. Yeah, we took that to the abandoned temple. The abandoned temple, duh, 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 duh. there's an interface upstairs. Entering the correct sequence opens the path to a secret room beneath the temple. I find a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants removing all the slide reels from their shelves, scanning each reel with a device and incinerating specific slides as well as entire reels. Now, it says there's more to explore there. So we're going to have to go back there and have another look around before we finish the DLC. I'm not going to just let that go because that feels really interesting. That still for me is really weird. I feel like there's a bunch of stuff as far as they go. I'm with being there. There's a, there's a bunch of stuff still that feels wrong to me. We did find that. We found the, like, the control room. So for me, right... The... I'm trying to think how to describe this. I appreciate that they're... They've backed up the information. Okay, cool. That makes me happy. 
It also feels incredibly pointless. Because, or at least at the moment in the story, I know eventually it's going to, you know, become quite clear. For me, right, if the information's still there, then why go through all this rigmarole of hiding it? But only bits of it, right? That's the thing. If they, if they just burnt everything... And they're like, yeah, lol, we're going digital, baby. Fair enough. But they have left just enough information for an idiot like me to come stumbling across it and to find it. And I don't know who that was meant for. It can't have been meant for me. Maybe it was meant for the Nomai to find. Maybe it was meant for more Freaklets to come and find. There's still a lot of things that I'm struggling to get my head around with these fellas. A lot of things that don't seem to make sense. Like, could they not just go home? I suppose that was one of the big things for me that I've recently thought of. Like, could they not just go... That is so obvious. That is so painfully obvious. Just... <sighs> Boy, oh... Boy, oh boy, I could go two different ways. Where does this go? Is this going to be a hidden door that I'm going to be really upset about because I tried finding a hidden door at some point and I couldn't find it? Is this what this is going to be? That's what this is going to be. Where are you, baby? I could have sworn I looked up here. I did. Am I that blind? I could have sworn. I'm just could have sworn we had a look. Or maybe, unless maybe it's just like a genuinely really well hidden door, like a secret door. And here we are. See, so yeah, they were definitely scanning it. Oh, this makes me so sad. This and forgive the historical reference. Obviously, obviously, there's a lot of stuff here that's very similar to the Library of Alexandria, but I think there's something here that's a little more recent. There was similar scenes to this in, in and amongst the Second World War, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not going to talk about it particularly much, so I don't want to. I don't really want to go there. But a lot of knowledge getting burned because it's deemed dangerous. I don't get me wrong, this stuff could genuinely be dangerous um, if their vision of... Why is it all broken? Why is it all broken here? If their vision of the eye is anything like what we think it's going to be, you know? Then maybe it is. I... Oh, here we go. That's why it's all broken. Uh, yeah, I still... I'm trying to figure out the whole the eye is terrifying thing. Why did I go this way? I could have gone the shortcut way. Well, to be fair, this feels just as quick. Um, where was I going? Where's my train of thought? Where was it, guys? Can't remember. It's been a long day. Been a long, cranky day. The eye, the eye being scary. Yeah. Was it a vision? Did it actually happen? Because it can't have happened, because they're all alive. And we're all alive. And the Nomai were alive. Well,. I'm presuming these guys are still alive. They must be in some regard, otherwise their little flames would go out. That's one thing that I found. You can hear shrieks when the, the fire... Well, what I'm presuming is the fire goes out when the water comes and the dam breaks. You hear shrieks, right? Then later on you hear it again. Which I'm guessing is the tower going into the water. But does that mean they're dying? 
that's the case, that means they're still alive, which means that my theory of they're not dead, they're just stinky, actually holds some level of relevance. Oh boy, I don't like these guys. They freak me out. Oh, where are you going with that? Into the house. Of course it... Don't you dare. Someone learn how to... Right, how did they do that? Uh, have they dimmed their light there? Is that what's going on? I don't know. No, there's still a lot. I don't know. Okay, cool. There is stuff to be seen and to be done. Um, what I feel like would be a clever thing to do, right, is to not go to sleep here. I feel like the best place to go to sleep would actually be the gorge. Because it gives us the most amount of time. And then what we can do, we can use the raft at the gorge. In the sleepy gorge. To get around to the first bit. Because we can still explore it. It's just if we are sleeping there, uh, we nearly drown. Which, for hopefully quite obvious reasons, is something I'd quite like to avoid doing on this occasion. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to rock on down here as quickly and as gracefully as a Harthian can. And I'm going to brave it. I'm going to go for it. I'm gonna, I've got my big boy socks on. And we're going to go for it today. And if I see a free clit, I might go and say hello just to see what happens. Get over my fear of them, I guess. A bit of exposure therapy never hurts anyone. Unless I've got a really severe kind of allergic reaction to something. But I don't believe I'm allergic to them. I believe I'm just a bit of a scaredy cat. Here we go. Just in time for the sales deploy. When you guys told me that this DLC in particular was made for me. I think there was a few moments where I was thinking, eh, really? Why? What's so special about it? Then the more I think about it, the more definitely I can see your point. You know, I I have salt water in my blood. I want to be a sailor. That's kind of my, that's my lot in life. I want to explore all seven seas and see everything the world has to offer me. Um, and the fact that this place is just a ship. And in a literal sense, it's a sailing ship. It does very much give me vibes of Treasure Planet. Which is, getting, which is a film that's very, very, very dear to my heart. Where was I going? I was going to sleep. Very dear to my heart. You know. I need... Oh, wait. I need an artifact. I need an artifact first. I'm, I'm jumping the gun. I've forgotten how to fall asleep here. I need to honk you, me, 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 and hopefully not get scared to death. Up here, was it? I think it was. No. That's just the laboratory. Do I need to do it through the... <sighs> I think... Oh, wait, no. There's one in the cinema. There's one in the cinema. I was going to say, I think I'm going to have to restart and go through the hole in the wall. But actually, now that I think about it... Yes, you beauty! Time to go to sleep. Time to go to sleep. Yeah, ever since that first raft reveal, I, I just... I have not been the same person, I don't think. I, I was expecting it to be some kind of alien death trap. Don't know why, that's just where my brain was going. I thought I was going to be like, turn into mincemeat. But I was not. Times like this, I wish I was, because y'all are horrifying. But, c'est la vie. 
Let's keep going. I don't actually know what celery means, by the way, so I apologize if I'm just using your language completely incorrectly. It would not be the first time that I've done it. Hey. Alright then. You a beautifully scary place. I need to get over there, and I don't quite remember how I get over there. I don't know if I've ever gotten over there. We'll go and have a look. We'll figure it out. I'm not quite as afraid of this place anymore. Yet. Like I said, I don't know what's going to happen if I ever knock out the lights. I'm guessing do I have to get like down there or something? Hello! Room service! Uh, this is awful rancid vibes. I just need to get over there, please, but I think I'm going the wrong way about it. It's rancid vibes, but at the same time, it's also really quite nice. How do I get over there? I thought I had a genius plan. And I could just come over here and do this, you know? But apparently not. I also don't really want to go over there because that's going to blow out all the lights. Hello? What are you? How does one access you? I wonder. I'm getting sidetracked. I feel like we're not actually going to achieve what it was that I wanted to achieve today. Primarily because I can't seem to see what's down there. If I go this way though, I'm gonna have to go see the freaklets. And we all know how I feel about that. I feel quite strongly about that. Mmm. I think we're gonna have to. No hand. Okay, I would expect a more strong reaction from them. From me shining their lights on there. Jesus Christ, I thought that moved then. I'm just getting paranoid, I think. But alas. Come on. Surely that would annoy them. Or do they really not mind? Mayhaps they don't actually mind. That's the thing, the first time we went up there, if you, if you ever watched that back, I was like, breaking it. The whole time. It's just, they're just freaking there. I thought they would react to my light a bit stronger than that, to be fair. All the time is being incredibly lucky. How do I get down to you? Here comes the water. Goodbye, good sir. It appears you're not that threatening at all. In hindsight, this makes me feel a little bit silly. Sorry for being scared of you. I still don't know 
how to feel about the ghostiness of everything. Oh, this is how I got over to it, was it? No? Really? Oh, yes, it was. Okay, I know my way around now. There's not really much point in going there now. I don't think we've got time. So while I'm actually not just absolutely cacking myself. Oh, that's where I need to go. But I can almost guarantee if I blow out these lights, it's going to become a whole other game. I'm going to go blow out the light. I'm going to do it. I don't care anymore. I want to know. I need to know things. I, I, that's not how I blow out the light. I need to know there to blow out the light. Right. Ah, we're doing it. Lights out, baby. There we go. I just said the name of the episode. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, oh. This is some Dark Souls stuff. There's always an invisible bridge in Souls games. I don't know if anyone mayhaps has noticed that. Never mind. What have I done? That annoyed them. I'm now considerably less brave. I'm now feeling considerably less brave. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Why would I? Oh, good lord. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I did. <gasps> How rude. You blew out my lamp. Well, I'm going straight back in there. What an absolute cretin! Blowing out my torch. How would you like it if I blew out your torch? What would happen if I did blow out his torch? What would happen if I did blow out your torch? 
Would you just cease to exist? Would you die? Right then, you feathery geezer. I'm coming straight back towards you and I'm gonna... I'm not enjoying the vibes of this. I felt so much more confident. Now I'm back and I don't feel particularly confident. from me. How am I meant to get past this? Which one of you is it? Which one of you was it? I'm going to blow out your light. So that means if I wait... Surely if I wait then to the end when the water goes, it'll make my life easier because they'll be extinguished. But why does that not make me feel good? Because if their bodies look like that, Right? What happens when the lights go out? They they don't they don't come back. They can't. There's not I suddenly feel really, really conflicted about what we're about to do. We've spoken about it before. We're the intruder. We're the stranger. Not these guys. <sighs> but what a place to be a stranger. to be a stranger. <laughs> 